so this is a typical china rose uh, also called hibiscus rosa sinensis it has five petals as you can see so i believe it's not a hybrid uh, now we already know what are the parts of it quickly it's a pedicel this one's a pedicel down here this one's the thalamus we have the calyx the corolla the anther or that is the androsium and within which we have the gynosium so we are going to dissect it one by one and also we are going to look at the transverse section of the ovary that we need so basically first of all we are going to be taking a needle and you're going to make a dissection so now you take the needle and to make the dissection is pretty easy first of all you have to remove the accessory walls that is the calyx and the corolla so you take the needle and you make a dissection right here right so down here take it drag it upwards just one sharp prick and we are done then all you have to do is in a quick quick movement remove the outer parts like that so we see we have the calyx so just a minute this one over here that we have is the calyx and okay now we have the corolla that is the petals this was the sepals this is the petals and as we all know it belongs to the family malvaceae so we have a pentamerous flower over here so these are the petals that's the corolla now what we have is simply the essential wools these were the accessory wools that simply help in attracting insects for pollination and stuff this is purely the reproductive part of the flower which consists of the androsium and the gynosium now you will be able to see the androsium pretty clearly you can see over here these are little tiny anthers that are there as you can see this part on the other hand will be the gynosium stigma that i will dissect and show you guys but this is basically uh, the pollen grains you I, I i don't think you will be able to see it but it will be you know there are little uh, pollen grains in it so how to open this up now you take your needle and basically you have to like make an incision insert it onto a point like that of course not extremely uh, up but not very down true and then you simply have to i'm sorry there one quick movement and we have the two separated there so now these will be the androsium you can separate it like that this is actually a part of the androsium i'll show you how it is and what it is just a minute um okay yeah in fact i have sort of anyway so these were the androsium as you can see uh see little pollen grains over there the anther the filament uh, it wouldn't be extremely visible but these the smallest ones will be the anthers and these uh, you know have pollen grains at the top now this part is purely the gynosium part it has three parts as we all know it has the style uh, sorry the stigma the receptive part on which the pollen grains will be landing after pollination so the stigma we have the style this long white part over here is the style and then down over here we have the ovary so first of all uh, we will be separating the style and the stigma from the ovary so for that you need to have a blade all right so this is pretty simple as well of course you really need to be careful with using uh, you know while using the blade so just the top section of the ovary you cut off like that and this one that you have of course remove these accessory uh, things over here a minute yeah all right now as i already told you we are going to take a transverse section of the ovary which is uh, simple as well so 
be careful with your hand handling the blade now you want to take a thin section of the ovary because you want to see the locules of the ovary clearly so for that to happen you have to take a very thin section so first of all the uh, make sure to take a narrower uh, you know not of the narrower section but of the broader section so first part i'm going to slice it off just like that because the broader part is there on the bottom as you can see all right so this is just the ovary mind you so we will take the thinnest section like that right so um let me just there i don't know if you guys can see or not but this happens to be a thin thin section of the ovary um of course you wouldn't be able to see the locules quite uh, visibly over here but it is there and now you take your slide a clean slide and you put a drop of water in the middle and in that drop of water you will be dropping this piece of uh ovary like that all right i haven't put the drop of water as yet and then you put it under the simple microscope remember to not cover it with a cover slip because then it'll be you don't want to smash it and stuff so this is the transfer section put it under a simple microscope in order to observe the locules you do not need a compound microscope for this so simply do not stain it as well simply put it under a simple microscope and you can observe the locules the tiny locules of the ovary and you will be able to see how the transfer section of hibiscus rosa sinensis gynoecium that is the ovary part looks all right so so this is again then it was just a random video uh, thank you for watching and if was uh, if it was in any ways helpful then i am glad thank you